everybody, Silver Picker here, and welcome to the Silver Picker Squad. Now, today's video is extra special because it is our latest installment of Silver Picker flushes his money down the toilet for your entertainment! That's right, I ordered another mystery coin grab bag off of eBay. And no, this time I didn't spend $50, and I didn't spend $75, but this time I spent $100 on this. Yep, on this flimsy little mystery coin grab bag, I spent a hundred of my hard-earned dollars. And you must be wondering to yourself, why would I spend a hundred dollars after the fifty-dollar grab bags and after the seventy-five-dollar grab bags were mostly trash, except for the one fifty-dollar grab bag that came from that local coin store. Fantastic, fantastic grab bag, and actually tons of people have bought them since, and I'm very happy about that because it's promoting the good guys over the bad guys. But why would I buy this one if I knew that most of them were pretty trash? Well, was it because it had the best pictures or the best description on the listing? Well, in fact, it actually probably had the worst of both. No picture of coins, just a clip art box that says $100 mystery grab bag. And the description literally didn't even list possible coins you could get. It just said that you'll get coins worth over $100 in this grab bag. And, well, not to say that everything out of Russia is uh, suspect, but this package came from Russia. So, who knows what on earth is going to happen inside this bag. And, on the one hand, I'm pretty confident that this is going to be a huge, colossal waste of money. But, on the other hand, I'll know A, that I'm protecting you guys from making the same mistakes, and B, well, I guess there is no B upside. Let's just crack into it and see what we got. All right, so this is what our $100 mystery coin grab bag straight out of Russia from eBay looks like. It is a thin package with a Russian labeled poly mailer with about, oh, I'd say, I don't know, 10 billion 25 ruble stamps pasted across the front. I mean, if I would have gotten this package under any other circumstances, I would have been super excited to open it and very curious about the contents, but I am a little bit apprehensive Given the fact that I discussed about how there's absolutely no description whatsoever on eBay, but there's also one other piece of the puzzle that I didn't share with you yet. And that's that after I ordered this, about two days later, I received an email from eBay stating that this listing had been removed from eBay by eBay for violating its terms. Now, that is not a good sign. Now, in the even weirder scenario, eBay didn't cancel the order or refund me my money. It just let me know that this listing was removed for violating the terms, and if I don't receive the package, to let them know and they'd refund my money. Well, we certainly received the package, so my money is not being refunded. It is still sitting safely in the sewer system somewhere in Russia. Um, well, <laughs> after flushing it down, we might as well enjoy the contents, and let's see what we got, all right? This is one of my favorite knives, by the way. This is a Schrade cliffhanger. I've had this since I was 10 years old. Love this knife. All right. We're through the looking glass. Okay. Okay, this is interesting. Little thank you note, that's pretty nice. Okay, let's see what we've got over here. Okay. Interesting packaging, interesting packaging. Okay, let's see. Got to get the, the old cliffhanger out again. All right. We've got our first bits available to us. First little bits revealed. I guess we will go page by page. Okay, so it looks like we've got a bunch of different fairly modern Russian coins. We've got uh, 10 rubles from 2016, from 2018, from 2017, etc. We got two ruble coins, five ruble coins. This one's a 50 ruble coin. And then these ones are older ones. These ones are from 1915, or at least the one that I looked at was from 1915, and these are Kopecks. Now, I am a little bit surprised because when I switched cameras to get the close-up, I did a little bit of research to see what these coins were worth, and I have to say I'm pretty surprised. These coins are not trash. When I first saw these as, like, modern Russian commemorative coins, I'm just like, okay, uh, this is going to be worthless. This is just, like, literally money that's in circulation. 
Although, because these are somewhat rare, each of these coins is worth a little bit of money. Um, these, 10 co- uh, these 10 ruble coins are worth about a buck a piece, and this one actually sells for five bucks on eBay. This is the commemoration of 60 years after World War II, 1941 and 1945. These are all a little bit different. This one is my favorite coin in the set, actually. You know, I'm going to take this one out because it's, it's super cool. So this is Yuri Gagarin, who was the first man in space. And this is uh, basically commemorating that first trip to space. So this is in 2001, and the flight was in 1961. So this is a 40-year anniversary of the first man in space. Um, you know, obviously, the United States ultimately won the space race by reaching the moon first, but... I mean, the Soviets really did something amazing by sending a human being into space. So that's really cool. You know what? I'm going to take all these out so you can get a better look. These coins are actually worth some money. I mean, not a lot of money, but each one of these is worth about a buck. This one's worth five bucks. This one's worth three bucks. And these two are worth about a buck a piece as well. Two bucks. And these are usually worth about a buck a piece, but in this condition, I think they were actually like in a fire. That's that's what this looks like. I've gotten coins like that before. I'd say all these together are probably about a dollar. But what I'm curious to do is, why don't we do for each of these pages? Tell me which of your which of the coins are your favorite below. This one's my favorite. I'm curious to see what you guys like the best. All right, on to the next one. Let's see if we can get this thing opened up easily. Okay, we've got a little secret stash over here. I didn't even notice that one. Let's do this page first. We did the page before, we'll do this page. Then we'll go on to the other coins. Okay, similar to the last one, but it looks like for the more modern coins, there are larger denominations, as well as larger denominations for the older ones as well. Uh, Let's take these out and look at them individually. 1987. This is what all of the reverses look like. This one, again, is uh, the first manned space flight with Yuri Gagarin. This is a really, really nice coin. I'm definitely going to keep this one and the other Gagarin coin in my personal collection because it is really, really cool. End of World War II, again. This one commemorates the 20th anniversary over Russia's defeat of Nazi Germany in World War II. These are really, really nice looking coins, I must say. This one's 1967, 50 years of Soviet power. That's an interesting one. And this one is from 1970, and it's a 100-year anniversary of Vladimir Lenin, who was one of the architects of the Soviet ideology, uh, the communist ideology. Let's take a look at all these back together. Really, really nice coins. I must say, the Soviet-era coins, these commemorative circulating coins, are actually really, really nice. I am really, really into these, I must say. Then we have these older Copex. Uh, some of these are extremely old. I mean, look at this. This one is from 1751, and it's a half Copex. We've got two Copex, another two Copex, one Copex, and a three Copex. Now, this one I looked up, and if this one were in excellent condition, I mean, this would be worth like 20 bucks. Unfortunately, these are each worth about a buck a piece, given that they're in really, really ratty shape. Um, but they are really cool historically. I gotta say, I don't think that this grab bag is gonna reach 100 bucks in value, but at least the coins are interesting. I mean, these are not run of the mill coins that you typically expect to get uh, in most anything, let alone a a grab bag. And then over here, this one is the weirdest. It is just a two franc coin from 1998 uh, from France. This one just sort of snuck in there, I guess, to take up space. Well, that's how it goes. All right, on to the next. Looks like we've got two little sections left. We've got this taped together piece. And it 
looks like we've got this other uh, little commemorative coin book thing. So let's take a look at these guys, see what we got. Okay, so this next section of the grab bag looks particularly interesting because that looks really old and that looks really silver. And that is something that I'm excited about. Now, I can't even see what's in here, but it is big and it is old. So who knows? Maybe we've got our money over here. But again, I'm still not holding out hope to, to reach 100 bucks. But I mean, these look pretty good. I gotta say, these look pretty good. Let's take a look in here. Let's go with the big one first, right? Let's have our dessert before our dinner. Well, this is ridiculously heavy. Is it a metal? The heck is this? It is really, really heavy. And according to the date, it is from 1784. That is old. Yeah, so this is actually a large copper five kopex coin uh, from Russia from... 1784. I mean, that is wild. Now, it is definitely damaged. It's not in great shape. If it were in great shape, it would sell for quite a, quite a bit, but in this condition, it's probably worth about five bucks. Um, not bad. Very, very cool, though. It's definitely the heaviest copper coin I own. All right, let's see what else we got over here. Let's take these all out of the, the little packaging and, and take a closer look. Okay, so it looks like we've got a couple of new looking coins, a couple of ancient-ish looking coins, and I am definitely, definitely stumped by these. So why don't I take a second, do a quick little bit of research, and I'll tell you exactly what they are. So I guess this is the page where everything is supposed to be like more valuable. Um, I mean, these are interesting coins, and I am really, really happy to get them, but they don't really get us to that $100 mark. Um, I mean, over here, we have a modern 1 gram 2009 silver commemorative coin of some kind uh, from Russia. I'm not sure what that says, um, but it's 1 gram of silver. We have a 1916 10 kopecks. This is 50% silver, so you know we've got a little bit of silver there. Then over here, uh, I'm not sure why this is with this same set. It's an 1856 Russian coin as well. Not really worth much in this condition, unfortunately. And then we have three really interesting medieval or ancient coins. Now, I got really excited about this one because I could tell right away that it was silver and that it was quote-unquote ancient. And I thought that that would have a really, really nice premium on it. Unfortunately, it really looks like it is a pretty common coin. It is what's called an Ivan the Terrible uh, One Denga coin. Uh, and it's from the 1500s. And it is really, really cool. I mean, that, that horseman uh, on the obverse, I believe it's the obverse, uh, is really cool. And the Cyrillic text on the back and the reverse is also really cool. But uh, I think they're only worth about 2 or $3. Um, and this one's really thin and, and worn. Um, but I'm going to do more research on these, and if I've done more research and found anything out, I will put, obviously, uh, some text over here. Now, this one I'm stumped on. I've done some searching on the Internet in between takes on this video, and I've been able to come up with nothing. So I'm going to ask some experts that I know, and uh, I will, you know, if I have an answer, you'll see it right below my fingers. It's a bow and arrow, it looks like. And it looks like this ancient coin or medieval coin or whenever it's from was, was ma manufactured in such a way that many of the coins were on one branch and these were sort of clipped off of the branch and never really rounded out. So you see on both sides, this side was clipped and this side was not. Um, so it looks like it was definitely part of some kind of, of tree of coins. This one stumped me as well. No clue. Can't even make out enough features even to Google something. Uh, so I am going to put a, a picture of this up on Coin Talk and see if anybody can make heads or tails of it. Yes, pun intended. Um, so we'll see what we got over here. I mean, again, nothing too valuable, but pretty interesting, I must say. All right. We've got our last little bit of this mystery grab bag. 
Let's see, can we make it to 100 bucks? Can we? Can we? All right, let's just double check. Nothing over here, nothing over here, nothing between the little bits of, of cardboard. All right, it looks like we have a soccer-related commemorative coin. Let's see what it looks like. Okay, interesting. Okay, we got a little bit more in here, so a little bit of a surprise. Let's see what those are in a bit. So we have a little booklet, and it includes a 100, I guess that's 100, uh, 100 rubles over here. 100 ruble coin uh, bill, 100 ruble banknote. And we've got the stadium commemoration over here. And we have three World Cup coins. How do you like that? So believe it or not, these actually sell for like 10 bucks a piece. Kind of cool. All right, and last but not least, or at least what I believe is last but not least, we have some old Russian banknotes. Now, I don't think these are gonna be worth anything, but they are really, really nice looking and very cool. Ooh, I must say, ugh, oh, these stink. Ugh, oh, that is bizarre. These smell horrible. These smell like they came out of a barn. That is disgusting. I mean, they're cool looking, definitely cool looking. I don't even wanna put these down on my table. Ugh, oh, I'm moving this over here. These really stink. There's that one. This one says it's from 1961. These do have a really cool look. These would be kind of cool to actually frame as like a little art piece. Too bad they stink. They really stink to high heaven. I mean, that is disgusting. I'm going to have to wash my hands after this. Very cool. Actually, very cool. All right, well, there you have it. This is what you get when you spend $100 on eBay for a mystery coin grab bag straight out of Russia. Uh, did we beat or achieve our $100 goal? Definitely not. And unfortunately, yet again, we have to put this in the do not buy category of grab bags on eBay. So far, every single one we've bought except for one has got that rating. Now, this is definitely, definitely in the rankings with that sort of uh, scammy group of, of eBay sellers. Now, I will say it's a little bit less of a scam because it doesn't say outright that you will get X and then it delivers Y. In this case, it says you're gonna get $100 worth of coins and we didn't. Now, I'm sure that if I were to complain to eBay, the seller would say, no, these are worth $100 worth of coins because I bet this thing probably retailed for like 30 bucks when it was new. And if you were to sell each of these coins in you know, a retail setting, maybe you'd be able to get up to 100 bucks with all this. Um, but unfortunately, that's not really what we're after. So it doesn't look like I'm gonna be able to get my money back for this one, uh, even though I think it is kind of a scam. Um, but there were some upsides. I will say that I have never given a real thought to Russian coins before, and in this case, I've learned a lot. I've had to do a bunch of research, and I've gotten to look at some of these really interesting coins. I think these circulating commemorative coins are actually really, really cool, and uh, you know, I'm not gonna collect them per se, but I think that one or two might sneak their way into my personal collection, just because I find them, them interesting, historically interesting. So, would I recommend? No, do not buy this. Let me spend my hard-earned money, let me make all these dumb mistakes, and uh, protect you guys from, from wasting your hard-earned money on bad deals. So, if you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. As I'll say, give me a big thumbs up for this thumbs down grab bag, and share it with your friends. Put this on social media, share it to Facebook, share it to Twitter, share it on Instagram. Really, really will help me out and support the channel. If you wanna support the channel beyond subscribing, liking, and sharing the video, I would definitely appreciate if you buy your coin collecting supplies and picking and thrifting gear through my Amazon links below, will be really helpful. And of course, if you wanna send me any channel mail, send me a letter, send me a package, send me whatever you want. I'll open it up on the channel for everybody to see. 
send it to P.O. Box 1322, Bronx, New York, 10471. Definitely would appreciate it, and I know the community would too. So anyway, I really hope you enjoyed this video. I will continue to throw my money away and flush it down the toilet for your viewing pleasure. So I hope you enjoyed it, and until next time, Silver Picker out.